Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello if you're new, my name is Jess. Welcome to Smarter Beauty, where I do lots of cruelty-free things here on my channel. So if that is something you would like to see more of, make sure to hit that subscribe button before we get into this review video. I would love to have you. You can go follow me on social media. My links will be here on the screen and also down below. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review, swatches, tutorial. You know how we do here. Where I'm gonna give you guys all the info on this palette from Melt Cosmetics. So if you guys wanna see this look and my thoughts and swatches then keep watching let's get into this review all right we're just gonna dive right in really quickly i wanted to mention if you guys missed my review and tutorial swatches you know that's how i usually do my review videos definitely check out um, I review on the Smoke Sessions palette from Melt Cosmetics as well. You guys voted. This came in first place, and the 27 palette came in second. And then we also have the Melt Stack. This is called the Gunmetal Stack. A review will be coming on this as well. So let me tell you a little bit about this palette. So this is from Melt Cosmetics. They are an indie company. I'm sure you've heard about them. They are available in Sephora stores now. And this is the 27 eyeshadow palette. Now this has been out for a while, but I am new to try Melt Cosmetics. I placed a huge Black Friday order not too long ago. Definitely check that haul out if you are curious. So this palette retails for $58. It's cruelty free and vegan. You get a total of 10 shades. Two of them which are a foiled finish and the rest are all matte. The net weight is 20.70 grams, so I feel like you do get a lot of product in this palette. It comes in this beautiful packaging. I love, oh my god you guys, the packaging on here is to die for. The box it comes in pretty much mirrors the actual packaging of the palette. Uh, it's beautiful. It's sort of this, to me this looks like an oil painting. It has that very artsy vibe which I love. I love art. I love paintings and this is just giving me art vibes like oil painting um, this is just a standard cardboard material um, on the inside when you open up the palette you get this really nice long rectangular mirror which is usable I feel like if you're gonna do an eye look it's long enough and big enough to where you can see what you're doing and I have used it multiple times um, on the inside you do have all the names printed on the palette which I always appreciate that melt does that overall quality and just the aesthetic of this palette is absolutely stunning. I give it a thumbs up. All right, so let's get into the swatches. I just swatched these on my arm. Bare skin, no primer whatsoever. So first up, we have Naked Sleep, Downtown, Nip Slip, <laughs> Moxie, Crime Fighter, One More Thing, Thick, Vegas Past, Whiskey Neat, and last but not least, we have Moonchild. All right, so those were all of the swatches. I hope you found that helpful. Let's talk about this palette. First of all, the pros. This palette is beautiful. I mean, the color story in here is stunning. I honestly, when I purchased this palette, I was like, okay, it's just gonna be like a boring, warm-toned palette. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> This is anything but boring. Do you see my eye look right now? Do you see this grungy, smoky beautifulness happening? That is not me. That is this palette. This is, this is all to do with how amazing the, these shadows are. I didn't think I would love this palette as much as I do. I have been reaching for this nonstop. I love the tones in here. You get a variety of transition colors, deeper colors to deepen up the look. You can do everyday soft looks. If I can find some photos on my uh, phone that I've been taking, you know, throughout the past few weeks, testing this out, like really taking my time and enjoying this palette. I wish they would have just put all mattes in here because to me the matte formula is the standout. She is the queen. She is just standing out in all her glory and it's amazing. The formula is so smooth, pigmented, easy to work with. They blend like a dream. I mean, I hardly had to put a ton of effort into this look, and I feel like the shades just melt into one another. If you cover up these five shades, you get these five kind of like warm, earthy tones. That terracotta shade is to die for. And then on this side, you have more like muted. I wouldn't say that these are cool at all, they're, because I am wearing most of these shades on my eyes today, I would say they're neutral, 
warm shades. Is that even possible? I don't know. The only con in here, I'm just going to mention it right now, the only con I can think of is that there's not a very light shade to highlight the inner corner. So I do have to point that out in this palette. There's not a lighter shade to highlight the inner corner, but you get such a variety of transition shades, deeper shades, and then really dark shades. Every time I reach for this palette and do a look with it, I'm blown away. The quality is fantastic. Um, the foil shades are not bad in here. I would say Crime Fighter is very soft. It's not as pigmented as I would like it to be. Vegas Past, I actually really like it. I sort of layered them on top of each other on my lid because I wasn't really liking the tone, the kind of look I was going for today, but I wanted to try to incorporate as many shades as possible. The formula is nice. There's not a whole lot of kick up in the pan. They just like your brush picks up the perfect amount of color. They're pigmented, but they're not too pigmented. You know, if you're a beginner with makeup and you're looking for a warm eyeshadow palette like this, I would highly recommend it. I think it's almost that effortless formulation where you can just start blending and it just looks so pretty and blown out and it just blends into your skin. And you guys know, I like my purples, I like my blues, I like my cool tones, but I like warm tones as well. And even though it looks kind of boring in the pans, let me tell you what, this look right here is not boring at all. Again, Mel just really nails it with the unique pigments and colors that they come out with in their palettes. They're just slightly unusual. You might think, oh, this is just a simple brown. Oh no, honey, no. This is a brown olive or it has like this kind of muddy green undertone or yellow undertone. Like it's, their palettes and colors are just so unique. For instance, some of my favorites in here, I'm going to tell you right now, one more thing is like this taupe, right? I thought, okay, this is going to be a nice cool toned taupe or neutral, but it's like so warm and earthy and beautiful in the crease. It's one of my favorite transition colors. I reach for this so much. Thick, another one I use today. Oh my goodness. It's like this mauve, dusty, grungy mauve. But yet it's not too warm to where it's like overpowering the look. Every time I use Moonchild, I just love it. It's like that earthy burgundy, has a little hint of red in there, a little bit of purple in there, and it's just gorgeous. It's hard to do these deep kind of burgundy shades because they're so hard and tricky to blend. But this, you guys, blends like a dream. Now, again, the only con I think with this palette is that there's not an inner corner highlight. Again, it's not a deal breaker for me. I have so many bright, shimmery inner corner highlight shades from other palettes. Most of the time when I have a palette like that, I'll just take my highlighter like I did today. I use the Melt highlighter to in highlight the inner corner and also use it on my face today and it's stunning, it's beautiful. So it's pretty obvious. I'm in love with this palette. It's beautiful. It's stunning. So those were just my thoughts, pros, and cons. Definitely the pros outweigh the cons 100%. I think this palette is beautiful. I would recommend it to anyone who's looking for a unique, warm-toned, grungy palette, but you can also do everyday soft looks with it. But if you are a grunge baby and you love those really blown out, warm tone looks, then you're gonna love this palette. So if you guys wanna see how I did this eye look right here, using the 27 eyeshadow palette from Melt, then definitely keep watching. Let's get into the tutorial. All right, so let's get started. I already primed my eyelids and set that with some loose setting powder. I'm gonna take the shade One More Thing and use this as my transition color in the crease and start blending this back and forth and slowly building this up towards my brow bone. And I'm going to take the same color and apply it to the lower lash line with this flat chisel brush, which is my absolute favorite for smoking out the bottom lash line area. <laughs> and next we're going to take the shade Thick and we're going to use this to deepen up the outer V area of the look and kind of smoke it out. And pretty much just going back through with those two first shades in the crease so that when we go in with a darker shade, everything's going to be nice and blended and work really nicely. And once again, taking that same shade thick on the bottom lash line, really connecting that up to the outer V. And then going back through with my fluffy blending brush, making sure everything's nice and blended, there's no harsh edges. And then we're going to really deepen everything up with the shade Moonchild. I'm just packing this on the outer corner very lightly dusting this along the bottom lash line 
and the shade is perfect for darkening up this look. Now I'm just going to go back and forth and build this up on the outer corners and then go back through with thick and one more thing and just touch those up making sure all the colors are nice and blended. For the lid, I did start off with the shade uh, Crime Fighter, which is the foiled shade, but I didn't like how it looked. It pulled a little too orange on me, and so I layered Vegas Pass, which is the other foiled shade in the palette, over top, and they actually work really nicely together. Just blending out the edges one last time. And for liner, I'm just going to take a brown liner on my lower waterline, and then take a flat liner brush and smudge that out. I tend to get a little sloppy with my liner. <laughs> and then I'm, I am going to tight line with a matte liner. This one's from Milani. And then I'm taking that same brown liner and just doing a soft line along my upper lashes. I decided to skip the wing today. I want to keep this nice and smoky. And then I applied lots and lots of this CoverGirl mascara. I really like it so far. It really thickens and makes my lashes super black. But of course, we have to add some lashes. These are from Shop Miss A, and they're in the style Tori. I forgot how much I like these lashes. They're really pretty. To finish off the eye look, I'm gonna highlight the inner corner with the shade Morning Star, which is one of the Melt highlighters, the Digital Dust highlights, and it's gorgeous. I'm also wearing this on my face as well, wearing the shade Stepford, also from Melt. Love this lipstick. And yeah, that completes this look. I wanted to share all the Melt products I was wearing on my face and lips today. And yep, yeah, that completes this eye look. I love how it turned out, super smoky. And yep, yeah, that's it. So that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Again, check out my other videos that I've done. Uh, a review on the Smoke Sessions palette. I'll be sure to link that in the card and also in the description box. Everything I'm wearing on my face today, I'll be sure to link below as well. So make sure to check that out. Subscribe if you're new, if you want to see more cruelty-free beauty things here on my channel. Make sure to hit that bell to be notified of new uploads. I upload on Tuesdays and Fridays every week. Stay tuned. Reviews coming on these lipsticks because, again, they deserve their own video. And also, if you guys do want to still see it, I do have the Melt Gunmetal stack. If you guys want to see a review, swatches, all that good stuff, let me know in the comment section below. I will see you all very soon, you guys. I hope you're having an awesome day. And uh, remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.